Hi everyone, today on Belly Strong I have your level 1 pelvic floor workout. Now this is for strengthening the pelvic floor. If you suffer from a pelvic floor that is too tight, then please do not do this. Have a look at our relaxation video instead. This video is a series, so we're starting right at the bottom with level 1 and we will be progressing things in future videos. We won't be going through all of the mechanics or exactly how to do a pelvic floor contraction. So please have a look at our video on Kegels or how to do a pelvic floor contraction correctly before you start this series. Otherwise, let's get started. Today we're beginning in a supine or a lying position. You can do this lying on a mat or even lying on your bed at home. Hips, um, or rather feet hip distance apart. Hands on the belly, we'll start with a few breaths. Inhale, and as you inhale, fill that belly with air, feel that belly push out, and exhale, and again in, and out. Inhale, fill that belly, and out. We're going to start with some slow pelvic floor contractions here. And I'm going to try a hold for 10, but just do as much as you can. So if you can only hold them for four seconds, do that and we can work up to those 10 counts. Inhale, as you exhale, imagine sucking a blueberry up into that back passage and then up through that vagina as we contract that pelvic floor fully for the first time. I want you to feel what a complete 100% contraction feels like and then let go of all that tension. That was 100% contraction as hard as you can. We're going to be doing these holds at about 50%. So draw up through that pelvic floor, lift the back passage and the front passage and then let go of that tension halfway. That's where we want to be. Right, here we go. Inhale, exhale. Draw up through that pelvic floor and hold 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and relax. A few seconds break, we do that again, a 50% contraction. And draw up through back passage, up through the vagina, hold 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Three, two, one, relax. Keep breathing. Number three, pull up through that pelvic floor, back and front, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and again. Up through the back, up through the front, 10, nine, Relax the legs, relax the abdominals. Try not to tense the glutes or the inner thighs. Three, two, one. Let go of all of that tension. We want to completely relax before we contract. And again, up through the back, up through the front. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release, we've got five left. As you exhale, blueberry sucking up into that anus and then sucking up through that vagina. Hold, five, four, three, two, one, and release. My hand on my belly helps to make sure that my abs are not tensing here. Pull up through the back, up through the front, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let go of all of that tension, three more. If you need a break, hit pause and then continue going. And pull up through the back, up through the front, hold 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one and let go of all that tension. Two more. Draw up through that pelvic floor, back, front, 10, nine, eight, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let go of all that tension. Last one, 50% contraction. Suck that blueberry up through the anus, pull that blueberry into the vagina. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And let go of all of that tension. Shake out the legs for a minute. So we've worked on some sub-maximal contractions. And now we're going to work on some fast and powerful ones. So here I want you contracting, squeezing as tightly as you can through the pelvic floor, not clenching the glutes or squeezing the thighs together. And I'm going to count to 10. I want you to do as many as you can in that 10 seconds. We're going to practice a bit first. So as you breathe or keep breathing, you're going to pull up strongly through that pelvic floor, hold it for just one second or one beat and then relax completely. 100% contraction and then relax. You can even pop a hand over your buttock. You should feel a very slight movement under your hands or pulling away from your hand as you contract. But the big buttock muscle itself should be relaxed. All right, I'm going to count to 10. You're going to do as many as you can. And here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax, breathe. We're going to do that two more times. Hit pause if you need a bit of more rest. And we're going to go in three, two, one, as many as you can, hard and fast. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax. One more set of those. Inhale. And exhale in three, two, one. We're going to go as many as you can. One, two, three, four, five. As strong as you can. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and relax. That is it for the workout today. I just want to add a note that you can do this with the knees turned in that will move the contraction, I guess, more towards the front of the pelvic floor around the vagina. This is useful if you're experiencing things like leaking urine or even prolapse. And if you have the knees out and the feet together, we'll be working more on the back part of the pelvic floor around the anus. And this is useful if you're experiencing things like leaking poo or leaking gas. All right, level one is done. Feel free to do that for as many weeks as you need to, daily if you can, until you feel you're able or ready to progress to the next level. Head over to the Belly Strong channel for way more content, the Belly Strong website for more surrounding pelvic physiotherapy, and I'll see you soon.